Hi boys and girls. So this video today is for the page in your packet that is labeled day 15 writing. So it is another opinion assignment, but it does not go with the one that we talked about before. This one is new and it wants you to think about something you would like to see changed in your school or class. So I have an example that I'm going to share with you guys and I promise you're going to love it and think it is the best idea ever. I'm totally kidding. You probably will not. But so number one, what is your um, opinion? So what would you like to see changed? So mine, in my opinion, the students should teach. See, I knew you would love it. So number two is... Um, describing the change in detail so how would things change well as your teacher I plan the lesson I get the materials together I have to figure out how I'm going to deliver it to you guys are we gonna do it all together are you can do it in groups are you gonna do it by yourself there's a lot of stuff that goes into it so that would change a lot for me so a student would have to do that kind of stuff a lot of time I stay after school to make copies and now somebody else would have to do that so, I would say a student, this is how it would change. A student would be in charge of planning, getting materials, And teaching. Alright, so that's how things would change. Now if I were writing this out and I had more room, I would probably provide a few more details to it because it wants you to describe it in detail. So I could mention staying late and making those copies or planning how we're going to do the lesson. If it's in a big group or small groups or by yourself, that kind of thing. All right, so part three on our graphic organizer is why should this change be made? So what are the benefits to this suggestion? So the reason I thought about this one is because a lot of the time when I make you guys work in groups, I like to listen to your conversations and hear how some of you are really awesome at helping other classmates understand what we're learning. Sometimes you guys are just really good at talking to each other and helping each other figure out some of the harder stuff. And so I think that would be a big benefit to this change. So that's my number three, okay? I'm going to say some people might learn better from... their classmates. So when I say that some people might learn better from their classmates, sometimes it's hard to explain things in a new way whenever you have trouble understanding. So that's like sometimes if Mr. Freeman is telling me something about he, what he does at work and I don't understand it, he'll try to change the way he explains it, but then I may still not get it. And I'm sure some of you feel that way when we teachers try to explain things to you in a new way too. But sometimes another person that's maybe closer in your age or they're going through the same thing you are, maybe they're able to explain it in a better way that's easier for you to understand. And that's okay. That happens all the time. It still happens to me as an adult. So I think that would be a major benefit is that sometimes if a student taught it might help reach those of you that maybe struggle with whatever we're learning about. Okay, so that is your assignment. You don't have to write the full essay unless you want to. Um, you just have to fill in the graphic organizer. Now, I love being your teacher and I really don't think students should teach. I think it would be fun to try if anybody would want to try if we go back to school. But I love teaching you guys and I'm happy to do it. So moving on, let's talk about grammar a little bit. Today's grammar is 
kind of interactive. You're going to need some colors. If you don't have colors, um, something I do if I don't have colors, let me erase this and I'll show you an example. I'm just going to erase part of it. So say that it wants me to underline something in a certain color and I don't have that color. Like if I had to underline this sentence, I might start my underline and then I like to break the line up and write the color and then continue. So like if this was supposed to be underlined orange, well I started my line and then I said orange. That way you know that my line is supposed to be orange. So if you don't have colors, that's okay. You can use that little trick or you can just label whatever it's supposed to be. Okay, so on this one, you kind of have a little checklist at the top of it, what you need to do to the letter. So just make sure you read it carefully and that you get every single part. All right, you're gonna be awesome.